I noted that J.D. Vance reiterated earlier today his claim that Haitian immigrants were stealing pets and eating them in Springfield, Ohio. Trump repeated the claim as well at a campaign rally. Repetition of those claims uh, by Trump and Vance were done knowing that bomb threats had been made that closed Springfield schools for two days. Vance says that his constituents had called his office making this claim. And that is what a Republican calls proof that is sufficient to contradict what Vance and Trump had already been told by the Springfield police and government officials that there were no reports confirming this manufactured conspiracy claim. Even the likely originator of this conspiracy uh, theory uh, that was posted in, a, in an anonymous Facebook message said that she had no personal knowledge of it and that the neighbor who told her the story who received the news from the, her daughter, who was told by a friend, denied that the, the story, uh, and this has already been reported by NBC News two days ago. When I asked by a reporter whether uh, Vance would repeat a claim that Bigfoot had been seen by a person claiming to be a constituent over the phone, Vance dodged the question by saying that he was not talking about Bigfoot in his comments, but pets. Why did, he, why did he refuse to answer the question? Because no responsible politician would repeat as true a claim made by someone claiming to be a constituent or in an anonymous Facebook post. But that would, of course, exclude J.D. Vance and Trump who do not have a problem doing so, when the reality creation serves some political objective that they have. I have cited some references in the more section below supporting what I'm saying in this video.